Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Arjun here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a mouse to control your PC or Mac computer. Now before I actually start the video and talking about it, um, I wanted to ask your opinion on how you like my new intro. It's really not new, I created it a while ago, but I wanted to know how you guys feel about it uh, versus my uh, other intro that I've been using recently. Uh, you can check that out on like my last recent video. And uh, please leave a comment below uh, comparing it to that uh, intro and uh, based on your votes I will choose which intro I want to use more frequently but anyways guys uh, yeah as the screen shows you uh, I'm gonna show you, you can use your device as a mouse now this is really cool for you guys that have like a laptop or something and you don't feel like carrying around another wireless mouse because this mouse does work pretty well um, for this application the way I'm doing it and uh, I guess it's just uh, a way of carrying around one less thing you're gonna have your iPhone or iPod touch anyway so now you can use uh, a mouse with it as well. The first thing you're going to do is open up the App Store on your device. Then you're going to go into the search and type in T-O-U-C-H space M-O-U-S-E. Click the search button and you want to click on the first result, Touch Mouse. And then all you want to do is install it onto your iPod Touch or iPhone. And once you install it onto your device, this is what the icon will look like right here touch mouse and once you've got it installed we are ready to proceed on to the next step. Now on your computer you need to go to the link on the website and you need to install the software of course you're going to choose your operating system you guys all know how to do this and then when select file you're going to choose the one for your type of operating system mine's a 32-bit we're going to scroll down and we're going to click download software. Standard stuff you guys all know how to install softwares um, obviously you're going to click run here and we're going to wait for um, the installation to start. If user account control pops up, you obviously want to click allow. And here's the installation uh, wizard. We're going to click next, I agree, install. And now we're just going to wait for the software server to install on our computer. This is necessary in order for the application to work so we can use it as a mouse. So we're just going to wait for it to finish uh, installing, close out, and we're ready to go back onto our iPod Touch or an iPhone. Now you want to open up the application on your device. When the application opens up, after it sends for a little while, you should see the name of a server of your computer. So uh, note that your device must be connected to the same network as the computer you're using, and then you'll see the server. If you still don't see the server, um, even when you're connected to the same uh, network, you might need to enter in your IP address manually. You can find that out on your computer. But otherwise, just click on it and wait for your device to connect. And here's the interface we're greeted with um, in the application. We have a button that says left, center, and right. And we have a keyboard pop-up here. If you wanted to click that, it would, the keyboard would pop up. And then we have two more options here. One is to disconnect from the computer. And it's going to take a little while to disconnect, but we're going to connect back. And then we have a little settings option right here where we have settings. And I'll review the settings with you real quick before because you should always go through the settings first um, when you use this. Show button 3, that's that middle button. Uh, the middle button does have a function. It's when you uh, need to scroll down and up. I find it a little bit useless. Um, some of you might not even know what I'm talking about, and that's fine. But just uh, keep that off if I were you. Um, display mouse, I mean button li uh, labels. Uh, we pretty much know what they are, but I'm going to keep them anyways. Uh, primary mouse button is obviously usually the left, so we're going to keep it on the left highlighted. Uh, use two fingers to scroll. Uh, this is allow. Uh, this is when you want to scroll on your device. Uh, to scroll, use two fingers. That's definitely something I'd keep on. Allow horizontal scrolling. Yes. Scrolling speed. You can adjust this. I actually find it a little slow, and you'll agree too when you see it, or you actually won't be able to see it. But when you try it out, because I'm gonna keep the scrolling speed a little faster. Uh, tracking speed is fine the way it is. Uh, dragging. I'm gonna keep that off because dragging is a little uh, weird. But I'll show you how to drag anyways. Uh, the two finger right click, that's also good when you run on right click. And uh, yeah, so the rest of the options are a little uh, not really needed sound and prohibit sleeping. But, anyways, we're going to click done. And now we're ready to see what uh, we can do with this. As you can see, the middle button disappeared. And now I can just use this as a regular mouse. Uh, once you gain control of it, you can use it to do whatever you want on your computer. So, if I want to open up Google Chrome, just double tap like that. And now we can uh, choose anything we want. We can just go directly to my uh, Twitter page, so we can click on that. And a regular uh, click on this is like a left click. 
and then I want to click sign in and sign in and you can use a manual left button if you would like to but I obviously it's a little easier just to tap down wherever and to show you the scrolling I put two fingers down and we scroll like that so scrolling speed is what I mentioned before if you want to scroll a little faster but yeah and then uh, there's horizontal scrolling like I had it enabled but I can't do that now and yeah guys and if I want to type something like it's already uh, in the text box there all I have to do is click the little keyboard up button and I can type something like making a new video alright click return here on the keyboard and actually that brings it into the next um, next line so if I wanted to tweet it all I have to do is bring the mouse down and click tweet and there we go my twitter is updated and this is actually better than regular mouse because you can uh, now use a keyboard as well so great application it is free if I didn't mention that before and all I need to do like I showed before if I want to disconnect is click disconnect so first I think I'll just minimize out of this and those are really the main features uh, to drag so if I'm on my desktop now what I like to do is click on the icon like the Mozilla Firefox maybe and click on the left button and then move it with the trackpad so just like that I showed you click on the left and then move it wherever just like that. So that's a little difficult dragging, so you might want to keep dragging enabled, so that'd be a good thing too. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. I disconnect before you exit the application and exit out. And that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, especially for you guys, like I said before, that move around and need a wireless mouse. If it did, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help for all kinds of new iPod Touch and iPhone and iPad and tech videos. Uh, and yeah, please comment down below on how you like this video, and if you could be so kind, please uh, like this video down there, uh, give me the thumbs up, that'd also be much appreciated, and if you feel uh, generous enough, you can save it to your favorites, that'd also be uh, really appreciated, and I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.